All right. Well, we're here for a little bit of an update on uh, on our summer's exploration program in the Kitsault Valley. Uh, we finished our 56,131 meters of drilling, uh, split between the Dolly Varden property with the silver projects and the Homestake Ridge project with the gold and the, and the silver projects. So uh, the camp's been demobilized and, and the drills are all barged out. So we're starting to get all our results in. And uh, so far we've released some uh, very good results from both the Wolf and Homestake Silver deposits. So I'll start by uh, talking about the, the Wolf results here. Um, our aim in that program was to, to um, define the uh, higher grade, wider zone um, that we're finding at depth as we go down uh, deeper along this high grade plunge. And last year we ended our program uh, in this spot right here uh, with hole 421. That was a 120 meter step out from our last known mineralization. Uh, and that was uh, 379 grams over, over 21.69 meters. Um, so part of our program this year has been, you know, doing these holes, uh, what we call backfilling towards the known. Um, but also what this did was establish the vertical extent of that. Um, so that result that we released uh, back in October from hole 446, 1400 grams of silver over 21.7 meters, and it included uh, one meter of 10,700 grams. So these are very good results. Again, uh, the wide widths, we've got 21 meters, true width is probably close to 15 meters, but it falls into the um, uh, extending the vertical extent of that high grade wider zone. And then uh, later on in the summer, we continued step outs. So those results are still pending as we move to the west. Uh, so down down that plunge, we're trying to find that central valley fault and, and what happens uh, to the um, to the wolf vein as we get closer. So again, multiple multiple events, uh, breccias, vein breccias. We have native silver, perargyrite, argentite, in with uh, argentiferous galena. So. All very low temperature silver mineralization, easy, easily liberated. Um, you know, we have our metallurgy on the go. We've, we, did, we finished some samples. They're in the lab right now, um, specific to the Wolf deposit. So we'll, we'll see on those recoveries. But um, it's similar mineralization to Torbert, and um, when that had about 85 to 87 percent recovery. So, so things are looking good at Wolf, and. Um, there's more results on that, so stay tuned. Uh, and then we moved to uh, Homestake Ridge drilling a little later on in the season. It's a little higher up, so we, we needed to wait for some snow to melt. Um, and we moved our drills up to Homestake Silver, and um, we we brought the directional drills here as well. Um, and we used the mother hole and then having daughter holes technique off of this, but we also used just the directional drilling on single holes so that we could precisely um, hit the uh, intercept. And that's one of the releases, um, one of the first releases we had a little over a month ago for hole uh, 456. That was 3.34 um, grams over 120 meters. So really wide intercepts. And these are considered step outs um, along this high grade plunge that we've been defining over the last year and a half. So this, this yellow um, outline on on this long section of Homestake Silver and Homestake Main, uh, looking west, that, that yellow zone defines sort of a bend in the system where, where things widen out. So we're reporting our full width of the mineralized zone. And within that, we have a number of high grade uh, feeders coming up, or we call them fluid pathways. Again, veins and vein breccias. Uh, this is this is defining, uh, even though it's called Homestake Silver, it's defining a zone with higher grade gold. And, and as we move to the to the north on this, we find um, a lot better gold numbers than the silver starts to um, increase as you go to the south. So that's why we you see here there's two intervals, 216 grams gold over 0.5 meters and 165 grams gold over 1.3 meters. So those are the, the very high grade um, narrower intervals that are part of that wide interval. So when we when we talk about these intercepts, again, we're looking for these wide intercepts that are amenable to uh, lower cost uh, bulk underground mining methods. And then um, with the release we just had uh, on Monday, 
is hole 469. And it was a it was in an, in an area that uh, is just below that plunge, and we were filling in um, an area where the closest hole on either side was over 50 meters away. And um, again, it just shows the strength of this system: 26.74 grams gold. Uh, and as you see, there's a bit of silver here, 34 grams as we as we move to the south, and over 14 meters. And again, it includes these high grade. Um, veins and vein breaches, uh, in this case 122 grams gold uh, with 141 grams silver over 2.85 meters. And um, yeah, in, in the photo here you can see uh, there's um, native gold, we're, we're finding a lot of native gold in this zone um, and again multiple pulses and that's what import what's important with these systems is the more breaches and veins that you have coming through the better. Um, you'll notice on the long section here, this intercept is a little bit below our um, our higher grade, wider model uh, corridor there, that low 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 angle plunge. Um, so that's why we're we're saying it's extending it out because it's it's making it vertically more. So with this hole in that area, we have it now defined over 300 meters vertical, which is fairly significant, as well as. Um, Lengthwise now with these step outs, it's uh, pretty much a kilometer of, of length. So, so we're really uh, growing this in size on home stake silver, and uh, significantly with with the with these intercepts, um, and this is why we included it in the news release. Is is this image here shows shows the core from hole 469. Um, and this, this particular interval um, graded 91 grams per ton gold. Uh, and, and we have it over top of a slab that's cut from the premier mine, from the 20 level. And it just shows it's the same mineralization um, and similar grades as well in the high grade areas. And this plays sort of into our regional um, idea for all of these high grade underground deposits where we've, we've talked about it a lot, about a hub and spoke model. And one of the options has always been the premier mill, which is, is sitting idle right now and, and hungry for, for some high grade gold ore. Um, and, uh, you know, or, or there, there's been different options, but premier is one of them. And that's why we showed this. So the mineralogy is the same, the recoveries are the same, that there shouldn't be any issues with, with uh, putting this in through the same mill. Here we have um, a map of uh, all of our ground now since the acquisitions that we've done in May. So we now have over 100,000 hectares in the southern end of the Golden Triangle. And we've, we've, we've really covered that Hazleton formation, which is shown in green here. That's that Jurassic package of rocks that hosts all the big deposits in the Golden Triangle. So again we're in the southern end of the golden triangle it's, it's a bit of a sub basin of that sk rift period and we have all the same types of uh, mineral deposits on our properties now um homestake ridge is is similar to the premier mine the the mineralization the layered system at torbert even though it's uh, a different um a different style and, and mineralogy than sk creek it's it's a similar age and it's also a you know a volcanogenic layered system, and then we have the cross-cutting epithermal veins, similar to the silver veins that um, are surrounding the Bruce Jack mine, um, and uh, and then the gold at home stake is is again similar to Premier as well as um, Bruce Jack, and then all, out to the uh, east of the Dolly Varden property, we have the big bulk copper gold porphyry system, which we put two holes into. Again, results pending, um, and that's a, a Texas Creek intrusive suite, which is the same age as the big copper gold systems at KSM, which is in in the, right now about the richest 28 kilometer diameter in in the world for gold and silver. So it's a sub basin, and we have everything covered with our ground now, including some past producing mines, the Porter Idaho mine, um, and very high grade silver and uh, mountain boy mine and then um, we also have the esperanza mine which is in the kitsalt valley but further south uh, it was um, also a producer at the same time that the dolly varden mine was online so it produced from 1911 to about 1927 uh, again about a thousand grams per ton 
silver and uh, and about two or three grams per ton gold that, that had some gold in there. So yeah, and so at Home Stake Ridge, those those results are are um, you know spectacular results, and they're some of the highest grade, widest intervals in the Golden Triangle being reported from exploration. Uh, and then along with our silver intercepts, um, those are those are the some of the highest um results we've been getting as we go deeper on the wolf vein so we're 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 homing in on those high grade areas and uh it just shows the the value and the potential of this whole valley